Instagram ads made me do it. We're going to do exactly what I just said and what the title says. I basically got hacked into the system. These ads were showing up on my feed so much, so often that I gave in. Am I regretful? Am I not? Hmm. I have a shopping problem, so this was another excuse to shop. Let's just put it like that. I got my hands on about five to six different brands. All of the things are sitting near me. We're going to do reviews. We're going to try them on. If you're watching me and my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Anam. I go by Anam C on the internet, and I hope you'll subscribe if you enjoy this video. Now, let's not make this intro longer, and let's dive right in to brand number one. Before we go further into this video, I want to share with you a new product launch of a water-infused sunscreen that I think both you and I are going to absolutely love. I'm talking about the Aqualogica Glow Plus Water Infused Sunscreen. This is meant to brighten and hydrate your face because it comes with papaya and vitamin C. It is a 50 gram pack and it comes with SPF 50 PA++++. That's four pluses over there. The packaging of this is so cute and tiny. I feel like this will fit in any of our like summer travel pouches which makes it really really perfect for the season. Let's go ahead and try this out. This is India's first ever water-infused sunscreen made by an Indian brand. It has such a nice, soft, watery texture. It is so serum-like and it goes on with super quick absorption. You can see the instant glow on my skin. My skin suddenly looks like it's radiating in the left and right. There is a noticeable, visible difference between. I love the dual benefit of this glowiness along with the deep hydration. The lightweightness of this really, truly makes it perfect for the summer. The formula is PETA-approved, cruelty-free, vegan, and I love that it is free of sulfur fades, parabens and mineral oil. This also stayed on my face without any chip chip all day long so I want to call that out. You know what to do? If you want to get your hands on this, go ahead and click on the links down below in the description section. There's also a discount code on the screen right now which you can use on the brand's website. Apart from this, of course, you also know that the product is also available on Amazon, Flipkart and Nykaa. Thank you Aqualogica for partnering with me for a small portion of today's video. I'm so, so happy with this new launch and I can see myself using this several times a week. For now, let's get back to regular programming. Let's kick off with a brand that I got served with so many ads for and that is a brand that I've actually sourced from earlier also. So when I was placing the order, I had a decent amount of confidence that these clothes were going to fit me really, really fine. Did not expect for them to fit so fine though um, because I really, really like spoiler alert, I did land up loving both the pieces I picked up. This is a brand called Qua. I believe they're based in Delhi and I feel like they do some really, really nice elevated basics. There are two pieces that I bought from them. First things first, these really, really cool grey pants. They're really nice, not exactly, I wouldn't call them wide leg, but I would call them uh, straight cut pants. They don't like hug me or anything like that, which I kind of like. I love the quality of the material and I love the way they fit on me. I've worn it with bodysuits, I've worn it with shirts, I've worn this a number of times already and I feel like this is something that has lasted well through the wash and I feel very confident recommending to you. My pant size in this brand is M. It does become slightly loose in the waist for me but I have one of those waist to hip ratio issues and so I land up wearing belts. Um, or if I'm bloated, it kind of works as is. I'm so bloated right now, for example, and I'm planning to wear this tomorrow. I will not need a belt uh, during my period, basically. <laughs> um, and I really, really like this. They have this in a whole host of colors. And I, like I said, feel confident recommending these pants for you, especially whether you're a skinny girl or a curvy girl. I feel like this should work. And they have quite a few size options as well. The other piece I bought from Qua, which I'm yet to properly wear out, but I've obviously already tried it on at home, is this stunning black number. It has this cowl detail going on all over. It's a really decent fabric. Like I won't say this fabric, this fabric feels luxurious or wow, uh, but it feels like a nice simple cottonish fabric. I like the way it hugs me. I love particularly that when it comes to my paunch and my bloating again, I can feel conscious on certain days. I do. I feel like body confidence is a 
journey. Some days are better than others. And I feel like this, because of its cowl detail around the tummy, kind of camouflages my pond, which is kind of nice on the days when I want that done. Um, it cinches around me in all the right ways. And I really, really think that it is one of those pieces that will stay in my wardrobe for a long time, because it's one of those like classic black dresses that can never truly go out of style per se. These ads in this brand versus these two products is definitely getting a thumbs up from me. This next brand is actually an ad that got served to my husband Gerard, not me, but I think I should include it in this series nevertheless. It is this t-shirt that he got an ad for and he immediately bought it and gifted it to me. Needless to say, I love what the t-shirt says, but I also have to say that the quality of this is quite nice and I've worn it about two to three times already. I in fact also uploaded and filmed a shorts for you, which I'll insert a little snippet for over here. I'll leave a link into the proper shorts down below because I was talking through that get ready with me session. And I really like the material of this. It's lasted through the washes quite well also. The name of the brand, I should have said that earlier, is Soul and Peace. Um, I will link all the products I'm showing you in today's video down below and I have this in the size L. So in case you like a nice loose-ish fit, a little bit of an oversized fit like me, this, and if you're my size, then get the same size. This is an L. Um, again, based on the quality that I have over here, that it's lasted well through the washes, that I love what it says, and I should probably go on that website myself and take a look at if they have more t-shirts like this that are a reality check for my husband. I should probably order some more. But based on this, I'm gonna go ahead and give Soul and Peace a thumbs up as well. This next brand you have seen me actually shop from in the Shark Tank video series, The Little Box. I've been getting served their ads since before I knew they were a Shark Tank brand. So the little disclaimer is the fact that I ordered their things actually for this video. Then I realized it's a Shark Tank brand so I included them in the Shark Tank video. If you haven't seen that Shark Tank episode 1 or 2, I'll leave the whole playlist down below. You'll know that there was a little bit of an exchange issue. I'll let you go watch that video so I'm not repeating myself in case you already have also. Basically, long story short, I used up the exchange uh, value, had to put in an another 100 rupees uh, over to get my hands on this and this is a set of two that I actually ordered so let's go ahead and see it because I haven't tried it on as yet I wanted to do it in this video so this is a shark tank slash ads kind of a video I got myself a set of two on these tube tops oh my god the sizing I really really hope it works it's looking a little bit loose-ish but if it fits right, that's all I care about. This is what we have going on over here. It is a tube top with a whole lot of ruching. I actually have one or two tube tops from before in black. But my issue with that is that the neck sometimes goes too low. Also, my size has definitely gone up in general. So I wanted to make sure I had something. Plus the ruching do detail did look like really nice and a little bit more premium than a regular one and then i got the same thing in this color which is a really nice it's a gray with a tinge of khaki green i don't know what the camera might be picking up on but it's a really beautiful very unique-ish gray green khaki green of um sorts let's go ahead and try this out so i can give you an actual thumbs up or thumbs down based on this particular fit Okay, I'm a little bummed out about this because and I'm hiding my bra straps for aesthetic purposes but this is so, so loose. I feel like sizing charts on the Little Box website are a little bit hit and miss. They did work when I was buying the pants earlier but in this particular case, uh, it's, it's clearly not working. I'm not even going to try the exact same top that I already have shown you in the black color because it was a set of two. They're both the same size. I ordered a size extra large based on the fact that I have um, a bigger bust size but I'm gonna have to exchange this again and their exchange process if you've seen my Shark Tank video wasn't like the best experience uh, but I'm obviously not gonna let this go to waste that's not fun that's not nice it's not a great vibe so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and size down on this in terms of material in general of course it's getting a uh, thumbs up but when it comes to sizing charts and return policies based on everything I shared with you in the Shark Tank video as well I'm very on the fence about this brand in general. 
Okay, I was about to sit down and film something else, but my hair is literally like the baby hair are, are like popping from everywhere. And I thought it was the perfect time to try this other brand and product that I purchased because of ads I saw on Instagram. Disclaimer, the packaging seems to have been changed since the time I got my hands on this. I got myself the Slick Up Hair Wand. I bought this a while ago. I think I picked it up from Amazon. And I remember seeing an ad and buying it. I used it a couple of times and didn't really gravitate towards it as much. I can't remember why, but we're going to give it a go. And perhaps it's going to come back to me exactly why I wasn't using it as much or did I forget about it. But this product really wasn't that expensive. It was in the three, 400 rupee range. The one that they had which has a new packaging right now on Amazon costs about 375 rupees I'll pop up a picture and the link and all of that on the screen and in the description section um, let's go ahead and try this because even I want to kind of remind myself why I didn't really use it I have to say it's still nice and wet over here I was expecting for it to be just a touch dry because I haven't used it in like maybe like four or five months I think and I do need to slick my hair back for what I'm about to film next, so it's the perfect time. You know what? I remember why I wasn't using this. Yes, okay, and it's happening literally right now. You can see my hair is like tied up. It's not so neat, but still, when you do this with the wand, it picks out the hair from the lot, like the way the, the mascara wand kind of is. And then it doesn't secure everything in place. It'll take it behind. I really hope it's right on camera. But it's not like strong enough or because of the way the brush is like a mascara, it's not enough to stick it back. And then I remember I saw the hair wax sticks on Amazon, which I landed up buying and landed up using more of that. I also have the Arata hair pomade, which I landed up liking more because those kind of things you can go in with your hand even and the stick in itself has a really nice thick patch, uh, thick width area uh, that it covers. This, I feel like when you do it, it lands up lifting some hair out of it. So even if you've neatly secured a bun, it's gonna land up taking some baby hair or even longer strands out. Does it pack down the area? Yes, it does. But again, because of the spoolie, some hair even comes out of it. And I'm completely, I'm so glad, like muscle memory kind of a thing. When you do the same thing, you realize, wait, what's going wrong this time? What did I not like that time? And this is what it is. So I did buy the product and I didn't land up. See, you can already see it's pulled out more hair over here. Um, yeah, and this is why I didn't land up using the product as much. I did buy it through the ads. This one I am actually not going to land up recommending to you purely because, you know, especially if you have like layered hair, all your layers will start popping out. So it was a little bit inconvenient to me. If the idea of that doesn't bother you, then of course I'll still go ahead and leave a link in for you down below. Probably of the new one because this one has been discontinued basis what I'm seeing on Amazon. Um, the packaging seems to have changed basically formula wise i do agree it didn't crisp up my hair it didn't make me feel like i needed a hair wash if there was another way they could figure of applying this um something on the lines of a lint roller i'm thinking of i don't know why just something to flat it and apply instead of go into the hair so it doesn't lift off any of the hair i think that they have a banger formula but the packaging definitely is something that makes me give this a thumbs down unfortunately I'm gonna put this away. I can't use it anyway. Okay, the next brand I'm really impressed with the packaging on because it is the only brand that has gone ahead. I need to cover my address. Um, that has gone ahead and given me my package in a box like this. I don't know whether this came in another pack, packet, packet, you know, like, like this, for example. But the reason I'm impressed with it is when you open it up, literally the t-shirts are placed there like, like this, which is quite impressive, quite nice. Um, the brand name is Botnia and it says there's a code for my next purchase called Loyal15. I don't know if this is going to work for you because it must be only for a repeat customer, but just in case it does, there you have it. Just in case you've ordered from them before and didn't know about the code, there you have it. I ordered two t-shirts from them. This material feels kind of nice. It does. It kind of feels like the Soul and Peace Wala t-shirt. It says, sorry I'm late. I didn't want to come. You know, I'm an ambivert. Like, I feel like I'm generally an extrovert, but around some people, I go into being an introvert. Over a period of time, I'm 32 now, I feel like I'm an ambivert and I just reciprocate basis the energy and the vibe around me. And I felt like um, the day I was ordering this t-shirt, I was clearly feeling a little bit more introverted. 
Hmm. I ordered a very large fit. Wait, I'm realizing I ordered a very large fit because I ordered this one for Jerry. I'm sorry, this isn't for me. What size did I order? This is XL to XXL. Oh my god, but it's looking too big even for Jerry. I don't know. I guess I should have him try it on. Either way, I don't see myself wanting to exchange it even if he doesn't wear it. This is something I would wear in the house as well. It just is so nice. I'm only a little concerned about what size I have ordered. I guess the try on part will answer that question. Okay, you're going to think that I'm crazy, but hear me out. Give me a second. I love how baggy this is on me. I think I ordered this thinking of Jerry question mark. Cannot remember, should not place orders in the middle of the night when I can't remember anything and I'm actually in my sleep. But <laughs> I love it. This is my kind of baggy vibe. I would wear something like this outside with leggings styled up with ripped denims, with skinny denims. Not that I've worn skinny, skinny denims in a very long time. And I would even wear this in the house. And if I was wearing this in the house, if I'm being honest, I probably wouldn't even bother wearing pants because they're so long can you see like it's like the size of a mini skirt like barely two three inches above the knee um so uh, i like it i was gonna make jerry try it which i'll still make him try it because if he likes it and if it looks good on him we can share this piece as well as the next one but i like it it's very comfortable the fabric feels very nice and i love what the t-shirt says as well <laughs> the next t-shirt i have over here i've ordered things a few weeks like two three weeks ago and then i had to wait for everything to come so clearly um <laughs> sometimes i forget what i've ordered this says <laughs> i love what it says this says no you do it <laughs> this is also looking a little too large so i'm a little concerned about the sizing i think jerry and i should both take goes and seeing and 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 then decide who this fits better on but really cute, really quirky, and both are red. I don't think I have enough red in my wardrobe. Um, so there's that. Let's go ahead and do a try on. Everything same, copy paste my thoughts from the previous t-shirt on this. From me ordering it, I think this is maybe, it's looking and feeling a little one size down. Let's compare. The earlier one was an XL to double XL. Whereas this one is medium to large, which is why this is also feeling like still very my vibe, but my god, I love the fit of this one. In terms of fabric, fit, comfort, full, full, full thumbs up. With Botnia, I like both the pieces I bought from them, and I have a feeling Jerry and I are going to land up sharing the previous one, whereas this one is probably just going to be reserved to me. This last brand I have purchased five t-shirts from i am so confused i think there must have been an offer if i remember correctly i'm very confused about why i've ordered different quantity from different brands but i go through what i go through while shopping and it's an experience <laughs> this brand is called dish Kiao and i've ordered a bunch of their oversized t-shirts um let's go ahead and open them up t-shirt number one okay immediately i don't love the material it's like feeling quite synthetic-ish mm. ah. maybe on wearing it'll feel better this is maybe just the outside yeah the inside seems a touch better when I'm putting my hand in I don't know let's try it out and see but for now let me show you the t-shirt it's a simple white t-shirt that says perspective and perspective is written upside down as you can see I'm a little bummed on the material. So let's go ahead and try it on so I can see what I actually think of this. This t-shirt is giving me nice, chill, cool vibes. I will not necessarily only wear this in the house. This I can see myself wearing outside as well. Whether it's for a casual do or it's for errands, I just like the slightly loose fit. I think I can pair this up in many different ways. Maybe even a nice airport look perhaps. I really like this whole perspective thing going on um, upside down. And this t-shirt shirt even with the material is getting a thumbs up from me it doesn't feel like also soft from the outside but on the inside it's feeling absolutely a okay second one also feels similar in material to touch at least for now this one says Mary foodie kismat <laughs> i thought it was really cute and quirky i really am in the mood for like fun t-shirts right now and i wear a lot of these at home i wear a lot of these i feel like i vlog so much and you must be bored of seeing me in my regular clothes like in my usuals i feel like i should switch things up so that's why so many t-shirts have happened in this video Mary foodie kismat i'm sorry i love 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 the words um let's go ahead and try it out 
this t-shirt is so me and it's actually very very comfortable i wish i would have ordered a size up on this one i really need to check my exchange window on the website i have a feeling i'm going to land up ordering one of these in a much bigger size for my brother as well this t-shirt is very very my brother and i described in our personalities uh maybe foodie kismat i really really like the play on words and this one is getting a thumbs up from me the words on this t-shirt are as toxic anum as it gets <laughs> but the t-shirt fabric feels the same way man i'm looking forward to the try on it says das bahane karke nahi gaye gym it me it's me hi i am the problem it's me <laughs> but basically yeah das bahane karke nahi gaye gym that's me is that a polar bear yeah that's a little polar bear sleeping over there Let's go ahead and try this lovely blue t-shirt out. It is going to be so ironic if I wear this to actually go to the gym or go for a workout. LOL, I haven't done that in a while. I need to course correct clearly. Um but this is my toxic trait and I think I'm just wearing it in the form of a t-shirt. I do wish this was a little bit more baggy. Let me see if I have a window to exchange this for a size up because I wish that this was a little bit more baggy. It would have been something I would have definitely worn. outside as well if it was i do like the way t-shirts just make you feel they make you feel chill they make you feel casual and that's really what i've picked all of these with the mental uh choice and preference and selection being i i'm going to go ahead and give this like an okay okay from a fit point of view because i wish it was a little bit baggier but material wise and comfort wise it gets a proper thumbs up from me i i'm going to check if i can swap up the size on their website that's for sure If you know me, you know I love tea and so I could not resist buying this t-shirt. It says T-Rex. I mean, it is so cute. Uh material wise they're all pretty much feeling the same at least as of now, but this one does feel a tad better. In fact, even the blue one to touch felt a little bit better. So I feel like these two are a little bit different in material perhaps. Um try on Anam is giving you the real tea, but for now This is what it looks like. Let's move on to try on Anam. This little T-Rex is my kind of T-Rex. It's definitely a little bit more snug than I was expecting when it comes to the fit for me. But all in all, I do really like it. I feel like it's got that very nice chill ghar ka kapda kind of a mode going on. You're 100% going to find me vlogging around the house wearing this. I don't know if I would wear it out of the house. Maybe if it was a little bit more baggy, I would. But purely because it isn't, I'm going to kind of rule this into ghar ka kapda. But in terms of fabric, fit, material, it's getting a thumbs up. The last piece of the last brand in this video it is a lovely lilac number and this one like the last two feels a little bit better to touch um and it says hi i am tired listen i mean is it weird that i am now turning my obsession of memes and dming them to my friends and family to t-shirts i don't know but these brand ads were very very spot on to recognize me and my personality traits and send them to me i am tired but i don't stop moving so i swear that's just i just enjoy the little laugh that's all let's move on to try on anam so she can try this piece on and give you a little closing thoughts on the brand okay so the material is actually not bad at all i feel like this is very very comfortable the little bit of a uh, worry i had is definitely gone when it comes to that factor and it's just such a cute nice tee i like it I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more such content, go ahead and leave this little green emoji to match my top down below in the comments. I am really hoping you're enjoying the fact that I'm trying different types of things and I'm really looking forward to your comments down below. You know I'm always reading, liking, hearting and responding to each and every one of your comments. So keep them coming and I will see you in the next one. Bye.